Hi there. I'm Richard Laubenberg from Yellow Gazebo Natural Healthcare in Toronto on St. Clair Avenue West. And today we're talking about glute bridges. Now, glute bridges are an excellent, um, what's the word, not alternative, complement to squats, which was part one of how to prevent low back pain. So think of squats as a great exercise for strengthening your core and your gluteal muscles. Well, your glute bridges will strengthen your core in a kind of better but complementary way and same with your gluteal muscles. So it's a great exercise. So here's how you do it. So we start in the position that I was in to begin with. Now, what makes this a bridge? I don't know, it's kind of more of a triangle like what was this, an isosceles triangle? I was never very good at geometry. But I guess glute isosceles triangles doesn't sound as good as glute bridges. Anyway, so start the power, the push is going to come from your heels, actually. You do want to think of a tight stomach, okay? Your uh, transverse abdominis rectus, ab abdominis muscles, tense, and your glutes are definitely going to flex while you do this. So start at the bottom, put your hands a little bit, uh, not directly at your sides, but out a bit, about, you know, 30, 45 degrees. And you're going to push up through the heels while flexing your glutes at the same time. Now you can just keep doing this kind of motion. Feels a little silly, but it is very good. Remember the three parts, tummy, glutes, and heels. And then once you've mastered this and you feel like it's not doing enough, you can start doing progressions. So a nice progression is marching. Now, anytime you lift a foot like this, you want to remember that the foot that you raised, that same shoulder is now taking up some kind of the action. You're using a kind of a cross action from, uh, so I have my left foot up, my left shoulder and my right heel are doing, uh, are holding me up. Okay, remember that. It's that you've got that cross action going. You can really hammer that home once you're strong enough to kind of do um, up and down movements with one leg raised. It's a great way to get that cross motion action. So have fun. These really are a great and easy exercise to do. You may want to put a towel or a yoga block or something in between your knees. <clears throat> if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at richard at yellowgazeboclinic.com. And here's to strong backs.